Get in, loser. We're going shopping. And because you guys deserve to get spoiled, I brought you to my favorite coffee shop in Nashville. More specifically, my favorite location. I don't come here often because there's literally never parking. I actually found the last spot in the parking lot we love to see. So I'm starving. My stomach is literally growling. I'm sure if I just stop talking, you can probably hear it. So let's get some coffee. Listen, there's two types of people in this world. People that get iced coffee even when it's 37 degrees. That would be me. Or people who get coffee according to the season. You know, like regular people. I love me an iced coffee. Ice oat latte. Mm. Oh, this one's good. If you're ever in Nashville, may I make a recommendation? Go to a barista parlor. They have several locations just go to any of them and get their well i would get it iced but you can get it hot but get their bourbon vanilla latte obviously get oat milk because white bitches love oat milk even though i'm mexican no se crean para las que están viendo y hablan español jamás me van a perder i actually got some food my favorite thing together from there are their biscuits love me a good biscuit and barista is for sure like the best biscuits i've ever had look at that sexy thing oh my gosh that's good just got to the first location we are going to Buffalo Exchange. I have a store credit from there from last time I sold clothes, but I'm here to see if I can find anything cool. Hi, hello. I don't know if you can see this, kind of a weird angle, but I am counting coins because apparently Nashville lives in 1986 and you can't pay the meters with cars, which make that make sense. So here I am. We have this big jar at home with obviously coins. I'm trying to find anything that is not a penny. Come to Nashville, bring change. Look at this sweater, it's so pretty. I really like it and it's thick. The detail on it and the price is not bad at all. Love it. Okay, this is such a great find. It's fur stuff from Ann Other Stories. Look at that. It's so long too, so you can wear it as a dress or layer. I am probably most likely gonna take this with me. Such a good deal for that. Hello. So I basically, I'm just looking for anything cute. Right now, definitely looking for more pieces like the one you just saw me pick, which is high necks, cozy things, chunky things. Just getting stuff to shoot more outfits for winter, which I need. And this one's gonna be perfect though, because it's so long. I just needed a piece like this. Lots of cute things. So I want to check out their denim section because at Buffalo I found one of the best pants I own. And if you've seen any of my thrift videos, you know I never ever find pants in my size, but here I always do. Let's go see those. I just remember that literally yesterday I got a pair of jeans at the thrift store so maybe I shouldn't be looking in the jean section. I'm gonna look at the regular pants section which is anything that is not denim. Maybe I can find some cool pants. Wait, hold up. Literally, first one I pull is so cute. These are so cute. I love wearing pants like this in the winter. Look at that pattern. Their sweater selection is so cute. I'm finding the best things. I also love that we get these mirrors so I can show you my finds better. So look at this one. I love the color in it. I kind of wish it wasn't cropped, but girls, now I'm super into my neutral colors. But if you like color, look at this sweater. It is stunning. And the one right behind it, just as cute. I'm dying. This is so much fun. They have the best finds. I also saw this one, which old me would, but I don't think I don't think I could right now. And how fun is this one? Honestly, they have so many cute things. Like I cannot stop grabbing things. So pretty. This is such a good shopping trip already. I'm so happy. 
Okay, made it to the dressing room. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna try on. I got three pans, and I really like the style of them. They're like trousers. This one has that pattern that I showed you. This one looks like that. That gray one, very winter. And then we have this really fun green sweater and the vest that you saw me pick at the very beginning. Okay, so this is what the green sweater looks like on. Not gonna lie, sadly, not a fan of it. I was so excited because the pattern and the colors are so pretty, but the one thing I would change about it is the neck. It goes kind of a bit big. I feel like it just fits big on me. It was just like a little bit higher because this will definitely make me cold. It's a cute pattern and color, but the fit is just like, there's nothing interesting about it. LOL at me thinking these pants would fit. Either way, I don't really like them because they're skinny. There's nothing stylish about it. Pattern's still cool though. This next pair is huge on me. Like it's so big. So don't know what's going on. Clearly, I don't know my size anymore. The pattern is cute and they're so soft, but they don't fit. I can't take them. This is the last pair of pants that I brought with me to the dressing room and I put the shoes just to see how I would style them. They are a vintage piece. I just think they're not that flattering because of my high. Like if I was any taller and have more room down there, it would look better. It's such a great option and I wish they were just a little bit more flattering on me. Obviously they're not. At least I try, right? This jacket is really cute. I like it. One of my favorite things about Buffalo is their shoe selection. They have always the cutest one. So I'm gonna look for my size. Ooh, these are pretty. I love the colors. Can go so cute with like any beige coat brown. These are so cute too. Very vintage looking for like spring, summer, all that stuff. And I love the croc skin on it. Hold up. These remind me of some shoes from Zara that I've been eyeing lately. They're so cute and they are Superga, which is a really good shoe brand. Look at these really cute bags. So pretty. I love it. Oh my gosh. I do not, I do not, absolutely do not need more bags. But check this one out. So pretty. I love it. I have such good finds today. This is amazing. Probably an unpopular opinion, but I really like the look of these little bags. If it wasn't a backpack, I would probably take it. It's so pretty. Love the pattern and it's so soft. I've been wanting to get my hands on the white platform converse. They're obviously sold out. These are eight, not my size, but that would have been a cute option. I just got a notification from my phone that my meter is running out of time. So I'm gonna do one last super quick look. So far, I only have this one. Right next to Buffalo Exchange, there's this store called Smack. And I found the best Harley t-shirts in here. Check this art though, it's so cute. We love to see. Check out this coat, it's so pretty. It's all denim. And the little trims right here in suede, so pretty. The prices are so good. I'm so confused. I like came up here and every time I see a mannequin, I think it's a person, but obviously not. I have been wanting to get one of these jackets because they're so trendy right now. It's 32, but the owner just told me that everything is 50% off. I like the graphic on this one. I just wish it was more oversized. So far, I like this one over here. The graphic switches are so it here. So it's a little bit small for me, but they have all these ones over here. I am in between two jackets and I can't decide. So this is option one. And the cool thing about this one is that in the back, it has this really cool graphic. And the other one, it's basically identical. The only graphic element to it is this thing right here. And there's nothing on the back, which I like because it's a little bit more simple. But the neck detail on this is so cute. You 
You guys, I almost cried. Don't worry, I already sanitized my hands to the whole drill. But the store that I was just at right now that I show you, it's called, it's called Smack. And it is a vintage store and it's super unique and super cool. I mean, you saw all the things that were in there. And I was talking to the owner, like the store has a big sign that says 50% off sale. And I asked him, I was like, why are you guys having like a New Year sale or something? And he was saying that the block that this store is in, they're just gonna tear everything down to make apartment buildings, which you know happens in big cities and he said he's been in business for 35 years and i asked him i was like oh well, what are you gonna do like what's the plan and he's like i just don't know i'm just trying to be positive damn that is so sad that's longer than i lived 35 years and he's just so sweet he's having like a blowout sale i got a really cool t-shirt which i'll show you later for five dollars that jacket i showed you i got it for like 20 something dollars he just really is trying to get rid of everything and i feel like that is so sad i don't know there's a lot of corporate businesses next to you like buffalo exchange is corporate they will be fine they don't mind relocating and paying rent because they can afford it but this dude i don't know so if you're watching this video and you live in nashville please come to the store and buy anything from this guy like t-shirts for five dollars even if you don't wear it wear it to sleep just buy a five dollar t-shirt anything from him please come and support this business it really really broke my heart two hours later not me literally pulling my jar of savings to pay for parking what show does this remind you of leave a comment below you probably are thinking what i'm thinking but i just want to test you see if you're cool enough like a trendy pair of blue light glasses and i saw that urban outfitters carry some it's so pretty i think it'll be super fun to just have these when working on the computer oh my gosh these ones are so cute you already know we love a good sale i'm gonna see what they have over here i was hoping to get one of these really cool long sleeve graphic tees but the graphics are just a little too much for me. They're not it. Like this one will be, if anything, the closest one. I just don't like the purple. It just stands out so much. I'm honestly struggling finding something cute. And you know, I always love me a cool graphic tee. They have a ton. They have some over there. Whole one over here. But it's so cold that tees are not my thing right now. Room. I'm gonna try on these pants, but I don't know if I'm a fit. This is high rise and baggy. This is them. And then I found this really, really cute hoodie. It's a small, so I might not get it because I like my hoodies to be oversized. It just says Playboy on one side and then wait for the back. How stunning is that? It's so pretty. So if it doesn't fit baggy enough for my liking, I'm probably just gonna order online, which is no big deal. Okay, I was right about the fit on this hoodie. It fits like a small hoodie. Oversized would be just so much more stylish. Look at the back. I am obsessed. Um, not mad because at least I found something that I like. So I'm probably gonna order this online. I'm trying to decide if I wanna get pants and this or just one of them. So let's try on the pants and see what they look like. Okay, and this is a pants way, way too big for me. I mean, I know they're baggy, but there's a lot of room in there. Just love me some baggy pants, like the one I was wearing was baggy too. Both of these pieces are not it, so it is what it is. It's totally fine. It's haul time. Is this jacket too loud? Should I take this off? I hope it's not too loud. It's the next day, actually. I washed everything. Look at this jacket. I love it. Obviously, ended up picking up this jacket from that store. It's so cute. And it says Cindy, which I can't wait to hear people be like, oh, Cindy. But like, no, it's not me. Fun fact, one of my best friends, her name is Cindy. So, Cindy. Definitely gonna think of you every single time I wear this jacket. So obsessed with this jacket. It's perfectly oversized. They are, again, so trendy right now. It's like the it item right now. So if you spot one at the thrift store, at the store, whatever you want, like, snatch it because it's so good. Let me show you what else I got. I got this t-shirt too that I thought it was super cute it's from 
I believe Oregon State University because right here it says Springfield, Oregon. So the owner of that shop that I showed you, he gave it to me for $5. It was so sweet. The last item I got is this sweater dress that I am gonna style on my weekly shoots probably this upcoming week. Maybe by the time you see this, I don't know. Follow me on Instagram. I might not be wearing this already by now. I've been wanting to get something like this. So trendy. This with some chunky boots. Ooh. Cannot wait to style it. And again, this was from Ann Other Stories, it's brand new. It was $98 and I got it for $38, I think. Great deal, 10 out of 10 would recommend. But that being said, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy going shopping with me. If you like that kind of content, stick around because, and I don't know, I thought some clever words were gonna come out of my mouth and they didn't. Stick around, maybe, love you. See you in my next video, bye.